what I'm talking about. Let's go. Focus here, all right, so here we go. All right, going up Mount Morrison. I'm in Morrison, Colorado. Just to the south is Mount Falcon, where I reviewed those shoes, upper right-hand corner. So today, it's all about the Solomon Speed Cross 4. I will not, uh, I'll, I'll do the review back at the house once I'm back home. I'm excited, this is my fourth time wearing them, so it's not like a ton of experience, but enough, enough, I think, to give my ideas, thoughts, opinions on the Solomon Speed Cross 4. This is a steep mountain. I'm excited to use them on a steep mountain because the lugs on the bottom of this thing are just ridiculous. So, all right, up we go. Mount Morrison, Morrison, Colorado. I think it's about, it's like 2,200 feet of vertical. 2,200 feet of vertical, not too bad. By the way, I uh, trying these new lenses on these Smith glasses. Forgot the nose piece. Oh well. All right, I'm gonna go find some more vertical. I'm gonna head over this way. Whew. Yeah, there's a telephone pole up here. the shed that's right oh I got my nose grip on my glasses too okay I'm gonna keep this as concise as possible the review the thoughts the analysis of the Solomon speed cross 4 that's right their fourth ed edition at attempting this shoe and uh, we're gonna go down the list seven different categories here we go comfort grip the upper ride and support the weight the durability and the look all right, I got them all written down here. Keep me on track, let's go. Comfort, seven out of 10. Not too bad, not a bad score. I actually thought, based on the weight, 
that I would feel a little more comfort in these shoes. I must say the Solomon Alpines are a little more comfortable. That just putting it out there, just putting it out there. Okay, so seven out of ten for comfort. I think it's it might be. I'm just putting it out. It might be the lugs, which leads us to point number two. Grip, the sole, epic. 9.9 out of 10. 9.9 .9 out of 10 for those lugs, which might be a reason why they're not as comfortable. I'm just not used to wearing lugs that are that deep. Does that make sense? So, 7 out of 10 for comfort, 9.9 .9 out of 10 for grip, and just epic grip for going up those mountains. You saw me today. Uh, the upper and the lacing are pretty amazing. The tongue is a little thick. The tongue is a little thick, but I get why they're doing it. I understand they want this shoe to feel very, very solid, very solid. So I would put the upper at a, we're going to go seven and a half out of 10, seven and a half out of 10 for the upper. The upper is, it's, it's really incredible actually. I mean, it's, it's solid, it's durable. I'll get to that in a second, but the, the tongue, the tongue is a little thick. So I think that brings the score down just a little bit. Once again, traditional Solomon lacing system. I love it. I love it. I love it. Number four, the ride and the support. Okay. In my past, I've been running for 20 years. I'm 32. I started running competitively when I was 12 in sixth grade. I've always had a little bit of issue with my arch and my heels. I've had plantar fasciitis. So my right arch on my right foot um, flared up a little bit today in this shoe. Now, granted, I was going up a steep mountain, 2,000 feet of vertical, so maybe that was part of it, but for the ride in the support, I was not as, it might be a little too stiff for me, okay? I think my arch actually needs just a little more flexibility, but I get what they're going for. Uh, I get what they're going for with this shoe. Number five, the weight. They claim on their website, Solomon claims on their website that it's kind of a lightweight shoe. I wouldn't put it in the lightweight category. I mean, it's not heavy. It's not heavy, but it's not... I wouldn't put it in lightweight either. Maybe middle to higher as far as the weight goes. I mean, it's... But once again, it's a solid, durable shoe, which leads me to point number six, durability very durable. This shoe, I bet, and actually, I think the more I wear this shoe, the more comfortable and the more use, my, my feet will become more used to how stiff it is and the lugs on the bottom. I've just never quite run in a shoe that's this aggressive when it comes to grip and just overall upper construction. The durability, if this shoe does not last me a legitimate two years, I'll be shocked. I think this shoe running hard in the mountains now get listen i'm going to be running in many other shoes as well but i'm telling you i will wear this shoe for two years so oh and i didn't give a score hold on so for durability 9.9 .9 out of 10 i'm telling you like this thing is going to last forever um back to point number five ride in support I'm going to have to give it a 6 out of 10. And I think that's partially just my foot. I'm not used to something so stiff. So it's a little stiff. So 6 out of 10 for ride and support. The look. Six and a half out of 10. I almost gave it a 7. I, I love the, I love the bottom. I like I like that. It's like it's e I don't know. It just it's, it's it's easy to pick up. It's I don't know. I love this bottom for you know the the sole. But the color scheme on top, not as exciting. And um, anyway, looks are not that important, but I'm gonna give a look a six and a half out of 10. So, you know, I, I, like, I like that color on the bottom. That's it. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for coming on, on a mountain adventure. If you're new, welcome. I do a new running vlog about once every five days. Not every day, but once every five days, I do daily vlogs. So if you're new, definitely drop a comment and a like. And if you have a chance, subscribe. I'd love to have you join us here on the YouTube. Thanks for watching. See ya.